Welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you are returning and a big fat hello if you are new. My name is Annabelle. I am a 28 year old artist from Victoria, Australia and this video is very excitingly sponsored by ArtX. They sent me a couple of products to try out. Uh, they sent me a 72 pack of oil pastels and a set of 14 sketching pencils so in this video you're going to see me play around with these and give my honest review on what I think of them I'm not actually a oil pastel gal I've used them before but I'm not actually very good with them so this will be sort of a beginner's review of these oil pastels coming from someone with not a whole lot of experience so thank you to ArtX for these products and let's get into trying them out. My initial impression of these pastels was that they were actually quite waxy. Um, some of them felt more like crayons than oil pastels. Um, but I have only got the experience of using Sennelier, which are top, top brands and another Aussie brand called Montmart, which are surprisingly decent, um, probably a little bit softer than these. Um, but there were some of these that I really liked that were really buttery. And you'll see on my chart that I popped an asterisk next to any of the pastels that I thought were really buttery and really nice to use. There was a couple that were really waxy and flaked quite a lot and those I popped little circles next to. I think there was only two of those in the entire packet. At a glance I can't see any light fastedness information on these pastels. Uh, one thing I really like about them though is the packaging like the paper and the label wrapped around the pastel is perforated in small sections so when you wear the pastel down you can actually tear off a small section of the paper as opposed to the entire label, which I thought was really cool. 
I also really liked that there is a really decent range of greens in this palette. I feel like sometimes you can get a packet of or a box of pastels and the greens kind of lack. There's not heaps, but there's enough to do some decent landscapes, especially if you're going to be mixing your colors. So let's get through these swatches, suss out these colors, and then we'll get to making a drawing and we'll see how I go with these. I'm quite excited to see how I can push them. Um, again, because I don't have a whole lot of experience with oil pastel, the swatching stage isn't really for me when I will figure out if I like them or not. It's when I start layering and playing with them. So let's see. So I ended up doing two different oil pastel drawings. I did this one with the full palette, not obviously not using every color, but with full access to the palette. And then I did the same scene again with a limited palette. I'm actually still working on the limited palette as I record this one. So I can't tell you exactly how that's gone just yet. This one here ends up quite saturated in terms of the outcome. But again, I'm really a newbie to oil pastels in general, so I can't really speak much for the outcome in terms of the quality outcome of the actual execution. It's okay, but it's not my best. In terms of the experience of using these oil pastels, so like I said, I noticed initially when I did the swatches that they were quite waxy, but honestly, using these was fine. I was able to layer them. I was just very careful to really blend out the first couple of layers so that I pushed it into the teeth of the paper so there was still a lot more remaining tooth to pick up pastel so I could layer it on top. And obviously like the thinner, it's a bit like oil painting, the thinner the layer of oil pastel you put down, the more you can put on top as opposed to putting down a really thick layer and then trying to draw on top of that with the same you know, hardness of pastel, it'll just scoop up the, the oil pastel that you've laid down on the paper. So I was really mindful of going super thin at the start. And in terms of the, you know, the layering of these oil pastels, I was really quite impressed. This particular piece came out a little bit overworked, but it was probably just more so because of my inexperience with the medium and not really knowing how to handle mixing my colors or or things like that so after I did this one I did the limited palette one which I will show you a little bit later on in the video after we finish this one we're gonna do a little bit of an intermission of testing out some of the pencils that I got sent as well I'm gonna use them in a different video probably for a full piece but I do have some fun kind of playing around with those in the middle of this video as well
So next I decided I wanted to try using these oil pastels in a limited palette. So what I did is I went through the palette and I pulled out all of the neutrals and the greys and the colours that I might usually mix when I am painting an oil painting and I lay them out outside of the box. Then I sorted them into value groups. So I sorted them into darks, which is on the far left there, dark midtones, light midtones, and then lights, which you can see there. After I got those ready, I did a little value scale just so I could make sure that all of my colors were arranged in the proper groups. And then I started another drawing. I did this one in my sketchbook with a toned background, which I toned with a mix of uh, Burnt Umber and Payne's Grey watercolor. So the experience of drawing this version of this scene with the limited palette I found a lot more enjoyable. I think it's because I had a bit less overwhelm about choosing my colors and having the right colors and I kind of organized them into these value groups, which I think more in values when I'm painting uh, and not so much, you know, color at least to start with. So it was a kind of more reminiscent of my painting process that I'm more comfortable with. I'm actually sort of thinking about rearranging the pastels in the palette itself, like in the box, into value groups instead of color groups. I feel like that might actually be better for me uh, in terms of just choosing colors and making the right color choices. Because when I get into the zone, when I'm, you know, working with any medium, I just kind of grab and go. And if I have them organized that way, I'm less likely to make value mistakes, I think. Working with the pastels on this paper versus the pastel paper that I used in the other drawing, I didn't notice a massive difference. I think I probably could layer a bit more on that textured paper, but I also had a bit more confidence with this one, so I didn't make as many mistakes that I had to cover. So I probably, it's not probably the best um, comparison, I guess. I would really love to do some more oil pastel drawings. I actually got a comment on one of my, I think it was one of my videos today that asked me to do more oil pastel drawings. So that commenter will be very happy with this video, but I would like to try and do some bigger ones. I also had another one of you suggest trying oil pastels over my oil painting. And I really like the idea of that to get more texture. Um, so I might try that with these and some of my other brands, but I'll definitely keep you posted if I if I do try that. I don't know how far I want to push the kind of abstract look of my art. I do like to have realism in there, uh, but I don't know. I, it would be kind of interesting to try that. So both of these drawings that I've done in this video are actually color comps for a bigger commission I'm going to be doing in oil paints. So I've already started that commission, but it's going to be probably featuring in one of my blogs soon. So if you want to see a bigger version of this painted, be sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications and and all that jazz and um, you'll be able to to watch that and also maybe enjoy some of my other videos in the meantime because they're not so bad.
So my final thoughts on these oil pastels is I personally think for the price point, I think they're really, really good. I think Australian, they are about $30 for the whole palette, which is amazing. That's really good for, you know, I think it's the 72 colors that you get. I would definitely recommend them if you are a beginner with oil pastels and you're just kind of wanting to, to try them out. I am a beginner. I think this one here is probably my fourth or fifth oil pastel landscape ever. So they're definitely working for me here. They will definitely work for you. They're not probably what I would recommend for a professional, uh, someone who's used to using like your Sennelier and your really, really high grade artist grade oil pastels, but that's not really what these are meant to be. They're marketed for um, students and beginners and, and that kind of thing. And they definitely hit their mark for that. So ArtX has been kind enough to provide some discount codes, which will be linked below. I will link the products below as well. Um, but I really, really hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a shout out. Let me know which of these two drawings you liked better. Have you used oil pastels before? What do you think of them? Any tips for me? Because I am a oil pastel rookie and I hope that I see you next time in my next video and a big, 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 big thank you to ArtX for these products. I really had a lot of fun playing with them and kind of pushing my comfort zone on my usual choice of medium.